It always annoyed me that there is no fuzzy skin for flat top surfaces in the most common slicers, so I made a post-processing script to change exactly that. It is currently only tested in Prusa Slicer and only with Marlin flavored G-code, but I will keep working on it to support Clipper and different slicers. So how does it work? It basically goes through your G-code and looks for top solid infill sections and modifies the G-code. It takes each G1 movement and segments the line. You can control the segment size with the fuzzy resolution factor. It then takes those segments and moves them on the set axis. You can control that with the set displacement min and the set displacement max factor. The printhead will then basically print a non-planar top layer by jiggling the set axis. You can also control whether the lines should connect with the walls or not, which is helpful in some cases. So let's take a closer look at some models. First of all, to show the difference between normal fuzzy skin and my script, I printed this test model. Here it is without the script. As you can see, the top surfaces are just flat. And here it is with the script and some different settings. Then, as a great show-off, I made this handle, which I really like. And of course, I printed a Benji too. As of now, it doesn't work on the walls, but I'm already working on implementing those changes. Otherwise, I'm quite happy with the result. Let's take a look at how you can get your hand on the script. I have made it open source under the GPL version 3 license, so you can do with it what you want as long as you make your use case open source too. But keep in mind that it is work in progress and use it carefully. I do not take any responsibility for negative outcomes. You need Python installed on your PC. You can download it on python.org. Then go grab my script from GitHub, it's linked in the description, and put it in the folder. Now let's open Prusa Slicer and slice a file. I will use Fuzzy Skin for the walls too. It does work with all different top surface infills. Let's export. It has to be named input.gcode. Make sure it is in the same folder as the script. Now open the console and navigate to the location with the command cd. To run it, type python and then the name of the script. After that you can tell it your preferred settings. First is the fuzzy resolution, in other words the segment size, then the minimal displacement, I recommend keeping that at zero, otherwise the nozzle digs into the last layer, and at last you can decide if you want to connect to the walls or not, with one or zero. If you now run it with enter, it generates an output file. Let's look at it with Prusa Slicer's G-Code preview. As you can see, it applied the changes to all the top surfaces. This gives a pretty good preview to what it will look like. If you now print it, it could be that your printer warns you. Just ignore that. If you use this script, please consider posting your results and used settings into my subreddit, which is linked in the description. If you have any troubles, you can post them too. I will implement more settings to make it more flexible to use. I'm currently working on doing the same thing, add flat overhangs to really make full fuzzy skin possible and apply it to the walls too. And I will keep you updated and will make a follow-up video soon. Until then, happy printing!